Hello and welcome everyone again. Today we will explain some definitions at the beginning of our course. First of all, what is the meaning of a welder? According to the ASME code, the welder is the one who performs manual or semi-automatic welding. And according to the ISO code, welder is the person who holds and manipulates the electrode holder, the welding torch, or the blowpipe by hand. Referring to manual and semi-automatic according to ASME, some welding process can only be performed manually as shielded metal arc welding, where we use the filler from the electrode as a shield, and also the oxy-fuel gas welding, where we perform the welding process by the heat result from the burning of the gas as oxyacetylene gas. Some other welding process can only be performed semi-automatically, as gas metal arc welding and flux cool arc welding. Both of these processes can only be semi-automatic and they can't be performed manually. The difference between manual and semi-automatic is that in the manual welding process, the welder controls two things, the arc length and the travel speed, while in the semi-automatic welding, the welder only controls the travel speed and the arc length is approximately constant. Some welding process can be manual and semi-automatic at the same time as plasma arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding. So when we say manual arc welding, it can be shielded metal arc welding, oxy fuel gas welding, plasma arc welding, or gas tungsten arc welding. While when we say a semi-automatic welding, it can be gas metal arc welding, flux cord arc welding, plasma arc welding, or gas tungsten arc welding. On the other hand, we have the submerged arc welding, which can only be semi-automatic or completely automatic welding process. And if it's an automatic welding process, the welder won't have any control on either the arc length or the travel speed. And in this case, we are going to call the welder the uh, welding operator instead of a welder. Referring to the ISO code, it also covers manual or partially machinized welding process. The ISO code names each welding process with a specific code. For example, number 111 is for manual metal arc welding. Number 131 is for MIG welding. Number 135 is for MAG welding. MIG and MAG welding is the same as GMAO in the ASME code. In the GMAO process, which is gas metal arc welding, we use gases for shielding. So we have two cases right here. If the gas that we are using is an active gas as CO2, then this process is going to call MAG, which stands for metal active gas. And if the gas that we are used in shielding is an inert gas as helium and argon, then this process is going to, call, to be called as a MIG process, which stands for metal inert gas. So, the ISO code used the terms MIG and MAG, while the ASME code used the term GMAO. This clearly appears if you have a welding detail. You will find at the tail the number of the welding process, like the one that we have here, it's 111. Then this process is a manual metal arc welding. Another definition we have is the essential variables, which are conditions in which a change, as described in the specific variable list, will affect the ability of the person to produce a sound joint. This means that if we have a specific parameters and we tend to change those parameters, it will affect the performance of the welder and it may affect the mechanical properties of the joint. It can be some, sometimes uh, related to the base metal or the filler matter. For example, according to the ISO code, we can find that the welder who can weld a steel joint won't be able to weld an aluminium joint. Or for the fil filler metal, some welders can use a specific kind of electrodes. And we will explain this in details later on in our course. But this is considered as essential variables, which is the electrode right here. So if we tend to change it, this is going to affect the welding joint and it will need requalification for the new, vari the new variable. Thank you so much for listening and have a good day. Bye-bye.